Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great Monday. And thank you for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. And yes, today you're getting a second video. Because today in the mail, I received my Mattel Creations exclusive Lady Slither figure. The Evil Slithering Viper. Uh, we'll take a look at it in the box. Unfortunately, I only have the one right now, guys. Uh, I will be getting a second one pretty soon, guys. And once I do, I'll do a follow-up video. Uh, a loose figure review of her. Uh, we'll compare her uh, to the other fe female figures in the line. Uh, but for today, we'll be looking at the box... The box art, uh, we'll look at the figure itself and all her weapons and her features that she comes with. So here we go guys, first starting off with the cover box right there with this amazing artwork here. So beautiful of this medallion with her in the center right there with all the snakes around her, beautiful. Nice uh, slip cover to keep the figure in the packaging nice if you wish to keep it like that. All right, flip it back around. It's all these snake scales and this little bio of her right there, of the figure. This is their queen and empress, right there. And we're in their home planet, right there. A little spoiler alert, right there. If you wish to read that, but beautiful as always. Amazing artwork. Of course, the top of the packaging right out right here. This has that same Snake Men logo sticker that we've seen on the entire of the Rise of Snake Men line right there. All right. So this is a nice, beautiful artwork. On the sides, this is more scales right there. Now, I gotta say, guys, I was amazed how quickly uh, Mattel Creations uh, shipped out this figure. Felt like it was like only like last week that she was pre-ordered. And now you know we're starting to get her in in the uh, in our hands for our collection, so which means that you know the whole origins line is moving along very nicely, very quickly. But there you go. So now on to the figure itself. Let me get this out of the way. And here she is, right there. The top of the top right here, some amazing artwork as well. Beautiful, colorful, bright. A fango right there. Lady Slither, and some of her uh, uh, warriors right there. Very, very cool in her snake-like form. Master Universe logo, new for 2023. And here's the figure itself right there. And of course she shares that, sh that same body type, female body type we've seen before with Tila and She-Ra and um, uh, Sorceress. There she is, right there, in her human leg form, right there, human form. Of course, we've seen that staff before many, many times with Tila. Amazing head sculpt. It looks like the cape is not uh, fabric, not soft good. It's plastic. There's her tail. If you switch it out, if you wish to give her her more uh, viper look or snake look, there it is. And there's her, her like her. Uh, how we call her belt right there her dagger and the tail right there of course you got the snake men logo sticker right there in the packaging around the side this some lady slither evil slithering viper some artwork now amazing right here absolutely i mean once again mattel knocks it out of the park with his incredible artwork on the back of the packaging right there of hers on her throne room. So I'm curious because I, I'm not familiar with the particular creature uh, of this particular figure. Uh, if she was uh, King Hiss's wife, if she is the queen and empress, or is she above him? There you go. Beautiful, bright, colorful. It's got a nice shine to it. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Of course, I I feel like this this um, uh, bat-like snake is was part of um, um, Fangor's. If you if you own Fangor in the classic line, he had a a, a snake like uh, bat like this, and I feel like this is part of this is his uh, fig, um, uh, friend or companion. If you own that uh, Fangor in, back in classics, but there we go. Back to the front. There she is. Like I said, she shares that same body type 
as Tila and all the female figures, so you can just modify it and switch out, you know, the head and the body, for, but only for the female figures for this body right here. I've told, and I've seen a review, and check it out on Pixel Dan's YouTube channel, that you can put the male um, snake men on there, on that uh, peg right there. So if you want to put King Hiss, you know, you know, top half on this snake body right here, you can do that, or any of the snake men, if you wish, to customize it, like Cobra Khan, you can do that. Really, really cool. But, you know, if you want to customize it for the other female figures, another one you can use is, like, Snake Tila. I think she'd be a good, you know, you know, if you want to put the top half of Snake Tila from the waist here onto the body right here of the snake, you can do that. She is, after all, a snake as well. Or if you just want to keep the head, you know, pop the head off of Snake Tila to put it on the, uh, you know, pop off Lady Slither's head off and swipe it out and wish to customize it that way, you can do it as well. But for me, you know, if I wanted to customize it, I do like the look of Lady Slither. You know, she's amazing. But if I do want to change it out from time to time, I might use this Snake Tila's uh, upper half right there and put it on her lower half to give her a different look, a different feel. But as you see, they share the same type of body type right there. You can also remove the, well, if you move the whole top half, and put it on this top, you know, and remove that top half. You can just do it like that. Another figure you can use, um, if you wish, um, is you can try the the uh, Eternia Goddess as well. Uh, her her skin tone is a little bit different. It's a much different green than you know the snake uh, green from these from Lady Slither to um, Snake Tila. But if you want to pop the head off, you know, if you wish. You know, or you can use this you know, the different staff. You can see the same staff right there. She has that same staff as the uh, uh, Tila, which was part of the Zor 2-pack. That yellow bright right there. But if you wish to go a little bit different with the brown, if you wish. Also, you can try, you can maybe try to use the this hits, you know, this um, her armor, her snake armor on, uh, you know, on uh, uh, Lady Slither, if you wish. So it's up to you guys, so it's, you know, it's, it's one of the things that's really cool about the Origins line, is you can customize it, if you wish. But like I said, I will do a follow-up video, guys, with you uh, pretty soon, uh, when I get her out of the packaging. For right now, I'm going to keep mine in the packaging. Uh, but very, very cool. And I'm, like I said, I was very uh, amazed and, ha and happy that we got her so quickly, uh, you know, within a week or so, a week and a half, since we pre-ordered her. But there you go. And hope you have yours in your collection as well. Lady Slither. There's a shot. One more shot of Lady Slither. The, the queen slash empress of the snake men. And I gotta say also, you know, I, I you know... I don't want to be negative, but, you know, I hope that, you know, it's, this has been an amazing, um, you know, run with the Snake Men line. But I hope, I really hope that we, you know, it starts to wind down a little bit, guys. I don't know about you. I'm not, I'm not there yet, but I'm starting to get a little burnt out on the Snake Men um, figures. Um, for now, I mean, it's just, it's starting to get, you know, we need to get some other figures now. We need to start a, a new... Um, you know, Princess of Power, let's get some more Horde out there, you know, more He-Man figures out there, you know. Um, I think the Snake Men line has been an amazing line, and it's been incredible, you know, like, I mean, this is an amazing figure. Um, but I think we need to, you know, start to move past the Snake This is my opinion, I don't know about you guys. Um, so I hope we do get, you know, um, start to wheel off the, the you know, the Snake Men. And in the back right there, real fast guys. There's that, that, I believe that was part of the, um, the fan voting, um, uh, play set that was just happened. And then, you know, that would be a nice, you know, if we did get that, that would be really cool. That snake, uh, castle right there in front of all the snake men, you know, you can you know, so you can have like, you know, gray skull with all the Eternians and you can have snake mountain with all, with Skeletor's foes and even some Hordak. And for the Snake Men, I think that would be a great nod, a great playset for the figures here. 
But there you go, guys. There's a look at uh, Lady Slither. Very, very cool. And, and I like saying, like, I'm not trying to be negative here, guys. You know, I just want to move on. You know, I'm starting to get there. Not there yet. I mean, we, but I think we need to, you know, give us something different now. And maybe that's why we're getting that filmation style uh, toy line coming very, very soon in next year. Maybe that's going to be the next... Um, you know, uh, wave or brand of origins figures we're gonna be getting. Um, so I, maybe we're gonna get a, maybe a couple more figures, you know, in this, this Rise of the Snake Men, and maybe that playset as well. Maybe they won that voting. Maybe not. Maybe maybe not. But only time will tell, guys. All right. But there you go. There's a look at Lady Slither, the Mattel Creations exclusive figure. Um. I'd like to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys all things Master Universe through the Origins line, through the Masterverse line, the CGI. Hit that thumbs up button, that like button, and thank you for doing that. And hit that notification bell when you know I'll upload new videos. And tomorrow on Tuesday, we're going to heading back to the Origins line uh, to do a follow-up review of the Snake Men Infiltrator that was part of Wave 14. I've done a review on him, but I finally have my loose version of him, so we'll take a look at him much closely out of the packaging. Uh, we'll be comparing him to the Turnia Palace Guard figure. Uh, it's pretty much the, the, the Infiltrator. It's just a straight-up uh, repaint of that figure, but we'll take a look at him. Uh, we'll take a look at all his weapons and features. Um, like I said, compare him to the Turnia Palace Guard as well. Uh, share this video, guys, who has a passion and a love for collecting Master Universe figures like, the, like for over 40 years. Of Masterverse from the Avengers 80s to the classics to the 2000X to the Super 7s to you know I've you know I'm sorry I have a few of them but Mondo as well I don't have a lot of Mondo figures I do have a couple Mondo figures um, in my collection uh, through Origins and Masterverse and CGI so guys hope you guys have a great Monday and I'll see you guys on Tuesday take care guys and have a good one